Hey y'all, it's Juvie, and on this episode of Off the Shots, we have the one and only Square Biz himself, Mr. DJ. Hey. Okay, y'all. So before we even get started, I know you see him with the drip out. So we finna just tell us about this shirt you got on, honey. Yeah, this is my last drop right here. These t-shirts, they call the Ville Tees. I just dropped them in full colors. I got the black one on right here, the black and white one. It's the real one. Don't play. You know, we love to see it, honey. Yeah, you know, I try to bring new drops in every week. If not every week, every other week. But yeah, this this is just the latest drops right here, these good tees. They different. You know, I custom designed these. So you got the red one. I'm going to hold this one for you. And you also got the blue one right there. Yeah, I got black, red, blue, and, and dark gray. Okay. You know, the main colors I normally draw, but, yeah, they really fire, though. Know? I like them. They're different. I ain't they are really different. I them. like them. I ain't never seen a t-shirt like this, so. Yes, and y'all, the yeah, quality is out. everything. So, yeah. y'all better get on, y'all better get to it and come through, okay? So, yeah, these are actually really good quality as well. I'm not even going to lie. I like oh, yeah. that. And that yeah. one right there. I like that one, too. So. Sure, people know. You even bought some score bids, you know, the quality. No. Oh, don't even get me started. Yeah. Working at the park, that's all I see coming through. Everybody is square biz, square biz. I feel like I'm at square biz camp when I go to the park, honey. And ain't nothing wrong with that, baby. So where did the name square biz come from? The name it originated from Squad Up, mm -hmm. which was just a name that like me and my friends used to call ourselves. You know, we had like a group in high school. Mm -hmm. And... It was squared up, so I just kind of wanted something that was, you know, like, uh, you know, something that was similar to that, but just knew it, like, an evolution of it, so mm -hmm. that's really how I came on squared biz. Okay. So, would you say that that's also the meaning behind it, or what is the meaning behind square biz, like? Um, I mean, honestly, when I first started it, it was just, like, I started it just because I like fashion. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't even thinking about a mean and honestly, I just <laughs> wanted to make clothes on my own clothing brand. So, um, yeah, like at first it wasn't a mean, but eventually as it grew in, you know what I'm saying, I started just getting people buying it from everywhere, just seeing the reaction. I kind of really realized, like, shit, uh, my brand really kind of influenced a lot of people. Or just me and just the story behind it. So, yes. you know, I kind of tried to give it something just in that nature. Just so I started going hard on the never settle type stuff. So mm -hmm. today I say that's what it is. Like the the like I get slogan for it is just like the never settle brand. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So and why is Square Biz the never settle brand? Honey? Um, like I said, because I seen like I say the importance of me starting a brand. And the influence that I had, like in my city and other people, on just having a successful business, like people just seeing me start something and really sticking with it and it growing and, you know, like me getting a store, because I used to cut hair. Mm -hmm. And one day I stopped cutting hair to do this. So, you know, just the influence I had, I feel like, shit, that's really just what I wanted to base the brand off of, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And even now, like, right now, I feel like the meaning is really just, like I say, the slogan. But in the future, like, I'm really going to start, you know, like, getting out in the city and doing stuff besides clothes. Right. To really, you know, like, have that emphasis on the brand. So it's like, it's known, you feel me? Like, yes. You wouldn't even have to ask, like, why is this the never settle brand or right. what it stands for? Right, you be like, yeah. It's, it, it, it's like Nike, like, you know Nike is a sports brand. Just you ain't got to ask, like, you feel me? I know that's right. So, like, that's the mission. So how did you manage to stay focused on your grind even when challenges and losses did occur? Um, I mean, I say it's just me, the type of person I'm is. Um, like, once I really, like, make my mind up, I'm going to do something, like I say, I'm going to stick with it until I figure it out, or, you know what I'm saying? So it was just, just I say, like, my, just me, bro, in general, like, um, I never was, like, I'm going to start a clothing brand just to make money, so I always told myself, like, 
uh, I wanted to start a clothing brand, and like this is what I wanted to do with my life. So you know, uh, the first couple of jobs I ain't made no money. You know, it was just like every other business. But like I said, right. I started really digging deep. Like I started watching YouTube videos every day, just really learning the clothing business and mm. how to run ads and find manufacturers and just stay with it long enough for. You know what I'm saying? Me to get to why I even had a good quality product that right. people wanted. Then, you know what I'm saying? I got there, they started buying it, and, you know what I'm saying? I got a website, started working on my website, shipping to other states, and just every step. Like, I went through every step, like, mm -hmm. and, you know what I'm saying? Stayed on that level till I figured it out, then got to the next level. And even now, that's what I'm doing, you know what I'm saying? Yes, of course. So, you did just talk about, you know, you and having like squad up that was the friend group so i did see that you brought you and your close friends to get a tattoo and y'all all got square biz tatted on y'all so is that like a part of the brand like is that just like a symbolism of just family and what it means to y'all for sure um or why yeah. did y'all get those I mean, tattoos I, say, yeah. I mean like i said when it everybody like got people. those tattoos it was like i said that was my anniversary Okay. So like I say, that was like that wasn't the beginning. Mm -hmm. In the beginning, I was the only person with this tattoo. Yeah. Like I say, this I, I started this in 2016. It's 2024. Stop. Yeah. So people, do not play yeah, with so him. Seven years later, everybody got the tattoo, but like I say, in the beginning, everybody didn't have it. You know what right. I'm saying? So, like I say, it it took time to really build it up. Not something that. It's like they'll get tattooed on them. Yeah, like it's now like, it's like a it's the Playboy like sign. It's city or just, yeah, it's like, type shit. it's a symbol, you feel yes. me? Yes, like, okay, so I so like yeah, that. It's like, it wasn't new, like, ain't nobody just get this mm -hmm. when I started it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, this shit really, it's really So you really like a people. staple in the city, like you like to say. How does that feel? Well, not me, but Squad Biz, yeah. Yeah, yeah how right. does that feel? Um, shit, it's like a dream come true. It's like yeah. making it to the NBA or, you know what I'm saying? Facts, you know like, like you ever, your dream. You ever be in a car and then you turn and you see somebody with square beards on? Yeah. What you I, say? Yeah. Like that's crazy. I mean, it, it's it's more normal now. But now, like, I mean, yeah, I yeah. I'll be seeing it. it I'll was be to like, the point, yeah. like at first, I used to try to sneak pictures of people and you know, but yeah. It's, it's, it's more normal now, like. It's, it's, it's a lot normal now. Okay, man. Let's get juicy, honey. So, let's get into this jar. Let's see what's going on in the jar. I got to read the question or you going to read it? You going to read it. What did it say? It says, describe a time when you had to work with a tight budget. How did you maintain design integrity? I mean... Just like I said, when I first started, I always had a tight budget. Mm -hmm. Like at starting off, I didn't have a lot of money, so I mean, I don't know. That's really a hard when it's like design, integrity, and like quality. It it come with money, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So like at first, I didn't have the quality I wanted. But, but it was just a matter of still putting something out and being you know what consistent, I'm saying? building a brand, and to where I could get there. So, um, like I say, man, it's just, it's just like I say, me. I feel like I'm not, um, like I don't really find excuses, even money. Like mm -hmm. even if I don't have the money, I'ma try to save up so much each week to get to what you know what I'm saying. Started out, so it's just. I say, when you really want to do something or you really want something, you're going to figure a way. So. Facts. A tight budget ain't. That ain't shit. It shouldn't shit. stop you. It might prolong you a little longer, but shit, a tight budget ain't going to stop you when you really want something. Mm -hmm. So you just stated that you've been doing Square Biz since 2016, so that's seven years. So when you did just open up being in the shop, you just told me that that was the second, this is the second year anniversary of being here. So how did that feel to do that grand opening after like what, that would have been like four, no, five years yeah. on the run. You know what I'm saying? Did you have a shop? Like, how did that feel? It was like getting up to I opened, it was it was a lot. It was stressful. It was stressful. Ugh. It was like Rizilla, but it's I like I never <laughs> had to get ready for nothing like that in my life. I had to go to the city, get permits, 
I had to do so much. It was just, it was overwhelming. But like the day I opened, it was, I don't know, it was like just was you like hitting a lot of type. Yeah, it, right. was, it was, it was, it was good, bro. That's so good. So, what makes you stand out from anyone else that also has a clothing brand out here? Um, just my story, you know what I'm saying? It just. Like, that's why I really wanted to base my brand kind of off the, you know what I'm saying, the Never Settle stuff, because I feel like they were just authentic to me mm -hmm. and how people flock to me and my brand, you feel me? So, like I say, just being authentic, bro, it's, it's nobody that could build a brand like me. Mm -hmm. So, just the moment I try to, like, copy and, you know, try to make stuff that's in trend and stuff, it's the moment that, like, you fall, like, not yeah, fall off, like, but like, you just, you know. I'm blending in. I ain't right. separating myself. You Facts. feel me? So to separate just myself, be yourself. just being authentic, bro. Like, mm -hmm. this is it, bro. Building something that's authentic just from my city, where I'm from, what mm -hmm. I stand for, you know what I'm saying? And, you know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. Mm hmm. So just being, you know, a businessman, and not only that, you are also an author. Okay, do not play with him. We have the Scorpius book. Do not play. Standing on business for real. So how did that come about? It it is full of affirmations and motivational quotes. So what made you be like, I'm finna put pen to paper? Like what's going on with that? Um, really, like I say, quotes was was big in my life. Mm -hmm. Like this I'm a big quote person. So like I say, just me seeing the influence of me building a brand. And knowing the like the influence that the quotes had on me actually doing this, mm -hmm. I was like, shit, it just made sense to put it out. Cause yeah. they like the brand, so I'm like, shit, this this more like a the brand in a, a raw form. Right. Not clothes, but you know what I'm saying? So shit, I just put it out. Like I said, I had a notebook full of quotes and I just really turned my notebook into a book. I like that. So, I like that. It's like affirmation. Book, like, yeah, nah, people yeah, who read that you that. will be successful, like I'm going to be playing when, I, when it comes to books, man. Read, read. Reading is fundamental, man. I'm telling you. So not only are you doing adults clothes, but you are also just, you just started getting into youth. I'm talking about to the little babies, the toddlers. Like, when, what made you be like, let me start making it for the kids? Like, people was asking. It was like popular demand. Yeah. Facts. Yeah. I mean, I, you know, I want to make squad bits for everybody. I don't want it to just be for men. Or women, or you know what I'm saying? I want it to be for everybody. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, but y'all really just got into women and kids. I've been doing men clothes, mm -hmm. but yeah, women and kids, that's like the, the newest, you know, additions that I added. So, but yeah, so just to highlight one of the female shirts I just released, this is right here. This the um, it's called a triad t shirt. It's kind of giving like this the boy, this the girl, yeah. you know, going out a day, you know, you know how y'all be doing with the couples. I be seeing y'all for that job. Yeah, yeah, they go together pretty much. You know, I try to keep the same aesthetic with everything. The color tones, the look, and then I see you also have this. Is that white? This is actually um pink at the top. Oh pink, yeah. White and black. Oh, okay, I see. Don't play. And then. Oh, and then another pink. Yeah. This oh, is I like that. A different design. It's more just kind of like a basic, everyday, essential tee. Mm hmm I think I see a lot of people wearing that. Yeah, because I, I realize girls is like, you know, You know, regular. like, as, as leisure wear. That's yeah. what they say, like, you know, leggings, tights. So, this, yeah. That's what I, you know. I like this. I like that. So cute. So, I did see during the Jake Paul versus Andre August press conference, Andre had that shit on. I'm yeah. from head to toe. Okay, honey. So how did that even come about? Because that was on national TV. And you know Jake Paul, he got them fans. So if if I seen it, I know they seen it. And they probably was like, what? Let me see. Let me look up. Like, how did that come about? Um, well, one day uh, somebody that, I can't remember who it was, but I guess like somebody that was training Andre or just in his camp mm -hmm. had rolled me in. Said he had like some promotion spot. So... You know, I just had jumped on it and bought one of the promotion spots and shit, this is just what came with it. He was mm -hmm. on way at the uh the way in and you know, like around the event and stuff. So that was just pretty much what it was. Okay. So hopefully we get some internationals, y'all. I'm not gonna lie, not gonna lie. I don't know who won that fight. But Andre, hopefully Andre got knocked I, out in the I, first round. 
But shit, it was it was and cool. And it's okay. Like I said, yeah, it was cool. Shit, My nigga still got that check after huh? Yeah, yeah shit, you know. <laughs> I know how that shit got. I'll be it boxing happens. too. So let's get into the juicy. What's the wildest thing you experienced since starting Squad Biz? Um, I say the wildest thing. So four I experienced. It's a long timeline to think about. When you say wild, it's like what? Anything. Anything. Crazy, wild. You know what I'm talking about. It's the juicy jar. Get to it or get through it. Whichever one you can do. Right now? I mean, I just feel like the craziest thing to me was just seeing, you know, um, fake squad biz in person. Don't like, lie, you're there. lying. Nah, like I seen it on the line, online, like people were selling it, but like I seen it when I seen it in person, it was that was like the wildest thing, you know. Just to me, so now? Niggas is really yeah, that, that shit was kind of wild. We can sue. Cause we got our LLCs and DDCs and anything else we need, nah, honey. Yeah, for sure. Don't play like with it. I got, I got a like That's a, crazy. a couple websites shut down, but it's like they just keep popping up. That's then sick. like I seen it on TV too, like on I want to say it was like Love and Hip Hop. Somebody had tagged me. Yeah, somebody had on some fake, like fake sport bid. So. That was wild too. I was like, that's crazy. Yeah, give me my money. Give me my money. Don't play. Yeah, this um, you know, some of the kids shirts I got in stock right now. It's really big kids, not like um newborn and toddlers. But yeah, I really just turned, you know, like the staple shirts that was selling for men into kids' shirts. You gotta do the same thing for the little girls though, with the girls. Like you know how we yeah. got the little cute little don't be having the crop tops, though. Make them, make them regular shirts, but you yeah, give them nah. a little tights. You know what I'm talking about? Nah, for sure, Square for bids sure. on the leg, you know, like a little Nike. Don't no play. No. But, okay, so how did you manage to be a family man and a business owner? Because you've been, being a barber, like, is you also, basically, you're your own boss. Like, literally, yeah. you're renting out the chair, you know what I'm saying, picking up. So it's like, how are you balancing all of that, plus... Moving into that avenue of okay, I'm finna start a clothing brand as well. Um, I mean, it's just like I mean I don't know really. It's like everything I'm doing really for my family, so it's like. Real nigga. Um, I mean you know you like it's like you really can't <laughs> dedicate all your time to what you do. You know it's like do the day you work and then nice that you go home. So right. You know what I'm saying? You need that. You can't just be working all the time, so it's like, but yeah, shit, I, everything I do, shit, that's really what I do it for, like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, so, it's like the balance is just like, shit, if I wasn't doing this, I couldn't take care of my family, so, right. so that's what I'm doing it for, so. Make you go a little more harder. Yeah. Like, that ain't, you know what I'm saying, nothing really too hard. Mm-hmm. I know that's right. So, what opened your eyes to say, like, to be like, okay, there's more to just, for me, than barbering. Like, I know that there's more for me out here. So, like, what made you be like, I'm going this route? Really, honestly, the, like, the main reason that really made me quit barbering, I ain't gonna lie, was kind of like just Nipsey Hussle. Mm. Like, in his legacy. And, like, I had seen, like, a video, he was talking about, he, he stepped away from just the streets and... Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That street life to really be a rapper, and I was just like, just so into just his legacy. It, just, it inspired me to just take that chance, bro. Mm -hmm. And then it's like I could always go back and cut hair. Mm -hmm. Like that ain't nothing that. You I know mean, what yeah, saying? you have I, a license for it, so it's like. Yeah, so you I was like, let me just take this chance and see what happened. I could always go back to this. So, mm -hmm. but mainly it was just like this. Also, kind of gave me that just. Mm -hmm. You know, the courage and just the, you know what I'm saying, motivation to even do that. What made you get into Nipsey? Because I know that that is like, I, I don't like calling people role models, but I know that there's somebody that you would say inspires you and have given you a little bit of motivation with his quotes as well. Like, why Nipsey? I mean, because I feel like just 
everything I'm trying to do, he did. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, and this one thing about me is like, I don't, like I really, I try to listen to people who, you know what I'm saying, did what I'm trying to do. Mm -hmm. Because they know that can give me that experience. I don't, you know what I'm saying, it's, I don't want to listen to nobody who do something the totally opposite. So just, I just seen a lot of shit, me and Nip had in common. So mm -hmm. it was just hard tonight, latch on to them. That's how I feel. Okay, so, juicy. And I'm not gonna lie, I like Nipsey too, but I'm not gonna be like, I was on him before he had passed away. When he was, like, when he passed away, that's when I really was like, okay, yeah. He, he He's that guy, he's that guy. But I didn't know nothing about him until before that, you guys. It was like, bef like when he was really getting out there in the L.A. streets, that's when I was like, okay. Then he opened the marathon teams. I was like, okay, Lauren London, that's my yeah. girl. Okay, but yes, yeah, I understand. Nipsey All right. <laughs> What's the one fashion trend that need to go forever? What you mean, either go away or like keep going? Go, go away. away. I say it's a couple things. Say it. Say all three. Say three things. You can say three things. First off, I feel like cheetah and little print. This. People are in their big mama energy. I, I don't like. I, don't, you ain't I feel that. like this tacky. This tacky. Cheetah. You got to know how to dress. Like, you got to pull that shit out, like, cheetah red and cheetah. Well, I mean, I guess, like, any, if you could dress, you could really wear anything. anything. But I'm just saying, like, the majority <laughs> of people, the, the <laughs> public, like, cheetah, no. I ain't gonna lie. I understand. All right, dick. Hey, dudes. I don't know. I don't you don't like, like, like hey, hey dudes. dudes? I'm not gonna buy them. them I, had, I, I bought some, but. Them things ugly. Yeah, that's, it's. Yeah, that's... It's giving, like, New Balance vibes, and I like New Balance. I mean, no, but. it's really, like, the... It's cheap. It's, like, it's just, like, house slippers that they turn to. It's, like, Devo slippers. But they slippers. have rubber shoe, like, rubber on the bottom. Yeah, it's, like, side. a Devo slipper shoe type thing. Not huh? Devo slipper. I'm dead. They I be they sold do. out. They do, though. You cannot even I even them. bought a pair just to see, like, what's the hype about, like. <laughs> I even bought a pair. My sister said love them. She got a whole bunch. I be like, yeah, them things are good. I'm sorry. But one more, or that's all you can think of right now. Yeah, I mean, I don't really want to say. It's a lot of things I feel like should go, but I feel like you know it's 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 cool. It's flying on some people, but I think everything is coming back. A lot of stuff that was in the '90s is coming back. A lot of stuff yeah. in the early 2000s is coming back. So it's really like like he said, if you can put that shit on, you can put that shit on. Now, if you can't put that shit on. Go ahead and take that shit off. Thank you. Okay. So what advice would you give someone wanting to start a clothing brand? Um, just, I'd say strategize and just, you know, have a plan first instead of just want to start and Getting in just that field. jumping out there. Yeah, like really sit down and come up with a plan because, you know, you'll waste a lot of money and, a lot of time and not getting over and mm -hmm. so yeah just sit down and just really do you know do some research come up with a plan and save some money up too to start a clothing brand a lot of people came to me they trying to start a clothing brand they don't even got three hundred dollars mm -hmm. so i'm like or well, have some credit or something but you know, credit is important but a lot yeah. of people think it's not but it is yeah, that's another subject, but yeah, <laughs> nah, for sure, especially black people, bro, it's crazy. It is, but when yeah. you start getting in that field, like you said, outside of this clothing brand, he's going to get it, he's going to start teaching y'all about giving y'all credit, yeah, bro. It's crazy, bro. Okay. Yeah. How do you stay updated with the latest fashion trends and incorporate them in your designs? On um, TikTok and Instagram, mm -hmm. just, yeah, I, I study a lot of brands, like, like if you know me, like that's that's what I really do. Like I'm studying the game. I'm studying everything from emails. I'm signed up to every clothing brand email. Mm -hmm. I'm on a site every day. Like I really I study the game. Mm -hmm. So see, yeah. I'm, yeah. Okay, so it's the last round in the juicy jar, y'all. Mm. Can you name two days starting with T besides Tuesday and Thursday? <laughs> Can I name two days 
Starting with a T. Two days starting with a T besides Tuesday and Thursday. Tomorrow. Today and tomorrow. Oh, today and tomorrow. Okay. Don't play. Okay, so okay. okay y'all. So before we That's end crazy. it, we just need to know what do we have next to see from Square Biz. Um, I ain't gonna leak too much, but I'm gonna say just a collab with another brand from both my Texas. Okay. I ain't gonna tell y'all who, but okay. just just know you finna see Squad Biz and somebody from both my collab. Okay. Don't play with him. We gonna have to sadly end this episode with uh don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to follow Ken Juvie on Instagram. Don't forget to follow Off Top TV and don't forget to follow DJ Squad Biz and Squad Biz on Instagram and TikTok. All right, y'all. Bye.